Good evening everyone, this is your boy Doc and Blitz here and today we're going to be looking at the Sheridan, the tier 10 light tank from the USA nation and I'm going to showcase a replay, I'm going to show you, you guys on the tank on how I play it. So if you do enjoy this commentary in this video, make sure you comment down below your favourite thoughts of the tank and your favourite tank and make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video and click that bell to stay notified on any daily or future uploads I'm going to upload for you. Anyways, let's get to it. Jump on the bit of my comb, I run on don don. I'm the king of the bongo, the bongo bong. And I'm flipping the shit like a swan pom pom. Good evening, everybody. This is your boy Duck and Blitz here. And today we are going to be showcasing a replay. I'm going to show you guys of the Sheridan on Naval Frontier. So the Sheridan is a pretty good, decent tank when it comes to spotting and maneuverability. And the camouflage is top-notch for a light tank with, a, with the gun that it's got. So I've gone to this middle part here to spot the, uh, the highway for the heavy tanks to go across. So I did spot the M4 Yo there and I got a, a nasty bounce on him but that's all right we will make up for that later on so there's the three tanks in that bit of the hill we spotted the death star and couldn't quite get the shot i could have taken the shot but i just didn't want to risk it this early of the game so my job here i'm just going to keep everyone spotted and try and spot everyone so a nasty miss on the 183 um didn't get spotted which was quite surprising to me but since we missed that shot, we're going to make it up for this shot right here. Boom! Nice 590 damage into him. That's to start off our nice damage climbing spree, I guess you can say. And oh, what do we have here? We spotted the Yagaru. A nice 567 into him, and we damage his Amarak. And oh, oh goodbye. STI or 1. Amarak by the great object 784 so good bye and go back to the lobby thank you <laughs> so a nice shot into the Jaeger using the heat into the cheeks uh you probably didn't know that but the ones that do it's good to learn something new that the Jaeger has quite flat cheeks just like the e100 so a nice shot into the 183 and here is the Amex Firebird gone down to my side of the hill. So I can't really push up because I'll be still spotted by him. So I decided to move back a little bit, reset my camouflage, and I'm going to go into a different direction and put myself in a position where they won't, well, you know, won't likely to see me coming from. So I've gone to this area here, hoping to spot maybe a TD behind one of these bushes here, which I do not. So I decided to go down there, but I spotted the 263, so I was like, oh, let me just get a quick shot on him. So I tried using the HE, I didn't want to risk using the HE because of that spade. And the back of the tank is actually counted as spaced armor, so I didn't want to risk that. So I got a nice shot into him. I'm gonna go around here, thinking I'm going that direction to reset my camouflage. And now I'm going back to the same spot. So I'm going to the other side on the enemy spawn. See if I can get behind and take some shots behind as well. So here's the Moishin. Nice 591 into him. And I've re remained unspotted until now. So I panicked here for a second. Didn't realize the 183 will be up there. So I didn't know that at the time, but I'm just seeing it right now. So I couldn't get the shot on both of them tanks, unfortunately. I could have risked it, but I didn't want to anyway. So I've gone up here, go up this hill. Here's the 183, nice side shot into him, taking him out for my first kill. So it was a fourth, uh, well, not four, what am I talking about? Three versus five. There's a couple of one shots. I didn't know if that firebird was looking at me or sideways, so that's why I went to the heat, but I hit the tracks, so that was my fault on my behalf. I should have just used the APCR or the HE. So that was my mistake. Here is the M6 Yo, a nasty shot into me. A miss there. I go around the corner, 
500 to him and 277 to me. So that was, I guess that was a pretty good trade. So at this stage, I don't know where the Jaegeru is. So that's why I'm hiding behind around here. So I load up the HE, hit the uh, taking him out for my second kill. Now any big caliber guns, like the Sheridan, the Jaegeru, or any big caliber TDs or heavy tanks, the high explosive is your best friend because you can do whopping damage with a high explosive, even if you just do some splashing to him. So I'm going to assist my Jaegeru here. And oh, there is the enemy's Jaegeru, so I take him out, and the Jaegeru takes the motion. So all that's left is the object 263, which is still a tank you don't want to go up against because it's got insane DPM, very true armor. So I just get a, a heat shot into him. I could have used the, a, the APCR, but I just want to guarantee the penetration and see how quickly, like I can't really get behind him, but he was doing the right thing and uh, getting behind him. So I take a 700 row into him and the Jaeger really finishes up to him. And oh, the 263 is not happy at all with a good old F you to me. So there we go guys, 5,818 damage, a nice mastery badge, Three kills, a good bit of experience, and 196,000 credits to my credit bank. And there we are, top score. The 263 done good as well at 5,000 damage, but didn't really do enough. And the 704, a very nice 4,109 damage. Thank you, STI, for bringing that damage up. Shout out to both of you guys. And anyways... I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you have, smash that like button down below, guys. It would really mean a lot to me. And if you're new to the channel, why not hit the subscribe button? I'm going to be posting anyway. And I'm doing more of this commentary stuff now, guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed all this videos in the past videos. I'm taking a next stage in the channel of using commentary. Anyway. You guys have a splendid day and you have an amazing night. Bye for now.